ignoring their children. So we are going to continue with mathematics. Now let's remind what we did in the previous class. We did multiplication by tens, hundreds, thousand and ten thousand. And we learned that when you multiply any number with ten, hundred, thousand and ten thousand, we write, we add only the zeros. We write the same number and we write the zeros. So most of you did the test, self-assessment test very well. Good, but you must learn your tables. Okay, dear children, tables is a must. From 2 to 9, that will be enough. Double digits, you can learn later on. We can just do it if we know from 2 to 9. So today, again, we are going to do multiplication. But we are going to put with different numbers. We are going to put different numbers there. Okay, let's see. We are going to do horizontal multiplication just like this. But let me tell you first what the first number, the names of this number, the name of this, the name. Like us, we also have a name. So this first number is known as the multiplicand. What is it? It is known as the multiplicand. Now the second number, this number that we are going to multiply, the multiplicand is known as the multiplier. What children? It is known as the multiplier. And when we do the sum of this, when we multiply the multiplicand with the multiplier, we get an answer. And this answer is known as the product. It is known as the product. So this is type of a formula that when we multiply the multiplicand and the multiplier, we get the product. Now let's do some sums in this way. Previous class we had done with 10, uh, 100, 1000, 10,000. Now let's do multiplication in a straight line. Most of it can be done mentally, but you must know your tables. If you do not know your tables, it will be very difficult for you to do. So let's write the first number. 2, 4, 3, 4. A simple one. Multiply by 2. Okay? A second one. 6, 7, 4. Multiply by 8. Equals. Equals. 3. 7, 5, 6, 4. Multiply by 6. And let's do one more. 9, 8, 6, 5, 4. Multiplied by 5. Okay, let's begin now. Remember, we have the place value 1, 10, 100, 1000. So for putting the numbers, for putting the answers, let's write this sign also. 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. TTH. And let's write here also for better understanding. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand. Okay, are we ready? So what we should do is, first we must multiply the ones. And whatever answer we get, it must be written below the ones. Ready? Okay. Two fours are eight. So not here. Ones, ones. Two fours are eight. Two fours are eight. Then the next number. Two threes are six. Very good. Then the next number. Two and four. Two fours are again eight. Eight. And the last one. Two twos are four. Very good. So let's check our answers again. It's 
very important we check the answers. 2 for the 8, yes. 2 3 is a 6, 2 4 is a 8, 2 2 is a 4. Very good. Now let's move on to the second answer. I'm going to do the same way, one by one, but I'm not going to put the place value, it's already there. 8 4 is a 32. You can keep it in your mind, you can keep it in your fingers, or you can write it here. It'd be better if you write it because then you can see that you have to add 8 for the 32. We have multiplied this, then 8 7s are 56. 56 plus 3, 59. 5 and 9. 8 6 are 48. 48 plus 5, 53. So I hope you are understanding, children. You don't have to draw lines when you do it. Okay? This is just for me to explain to you how it is done. Let's do the third number now. 6 for the 24. Now I'm not going to draw lines now. 6 for the 24. 6, 6 are 36 plus 2, 38. 6, 5 are 30 plus 3, 33. 33. 6, 7 are 42. 42 plus 3, 45. Write the answer this way. Do not write the answer. If some of you make a mistake, you write the answer here. 43. No. This 3 should be in the thousands place value. So, 6 7s are 42 plus 3, 45. Okay, children. I hope you are understanding. Let's look at the last one. Now we have to multiply 98654 by 5. 5 fours are 20 to 0. 5 fives are 25 plus 2, 27. Good. 27. 5 six are 30 plus 2. 32 5 eights are 40 41, 42, 43 43 5 nines are 45 45 plus 4 49 Hope you have understood So later on Based on this topic You will get a self-assessment test is that clear? And let's see how many of you can get it right. So, this is horizontal way of multiplication and most of the time it is done mentally. Now, let's do this by arranging it. Let's see if we can get the same answer. Okay? We are going to do this one, but let's arrange it. So, let me write. 2, 4, 3, 4. Multiply by 2. 2, 4 is 8. 2, 3 is 6. 2, 4 is 8. 2, 2 is 4. When you multiply, make sure that the answer that you get is below the number on top. So, again, let's revise. This is the multiplicand. What is it? Multiplicand. This is the multiplier. Good. And when you multiply the multiplicand with the multiplier, you get the product. Very good. So let's try some of these sums on the blackboard. So I'm going to do four sums. And later on, you are going to get homework. So when you get your homework, please try and do it. So let's put multiply by 6. I have always 
told you to do it two sums side by side. Six, seven, four, five. Multiply by eight. And remember, two fingers from the margin. Mine is big, yours is small. So I put at least five fingers here. But yours, in your book, in your exercise book, please put two fingers because when we start multiplying, it moves towards the other side. And if I put it next here, next to this line, then what would happen? Uh, my answer would be, the last answer would be here. So be very careful when you write the answers. Number three, leave space between the number and the sums. Five, eight, next to it is zero, nine, multiplied by seven. Number four, seven, eight, nine, zero, multiplied by five. Okay, let's begin. Are you ready, children? Okay. Six fours are twenty-four. Okay. Six twos are twelve. Plus two, thirty, fourteen. Please draw a line here so that it means that you have counted the number. Because most of the time, children, you forget to add the carrot number. So 6 to the 12, 13, 14. 1, 4. 6 five are 30 plus 1 plus 1, 31. 6 four are 24 plus 3, 27. 27. So we have added that. So this is the way how you should do the sums in your exercise book. Now let's move on to the next one. Eight fives are 40. Four, zero. Eight fours are 32. Plus four, plus four, 36. Eight sevens are 40. Is it 40? No. Eight sevens are 56 plus 3, 59. 8 6 are 48. 48 plus 5, 53. 53. Okay, children. Now let's do the third one. 7 9s are 63. 63. Now let me tell you here because most of you make a mistake. Remember, we are we are multiplying with the multiplicand and this number 6 is not a multi multiplicand, it is the carried number. When I check your work in class, some of you make the mistake of multiplying with the carried number. We should not because we have to multiply with the multiplicand. So it's not 7, 6 or 42, it is 7, 0, again 7, 0, Zero. And remember, if you multiply any number with zero, the answer is always zero. So seven zero is zero plus six, six. Seven eights are fifty-six. Fifty-six. Seven fives are thirty-five plus five, forty. Okay, I hope you have understood this concept of multiplying with zero, okay? Whenever you multiply any number with zero, the answer is always zero. You just add the carried number. Let's do this. Five zeros are zero. Five nines are 45. Five eights are 40. Plus four, 44. Seven, Five sevens are thirty-five plus four, thirty-nine. I hope children you have understood the concept multiplying by single digit number. So let's recap what we did. I'll explain. In the last class, 
we have done multiplication by tens, hundreds and thousands and ten thousand. Whenever we multiply any number with those numbers, we just add zeros. And then, I'll also explain the number on top is the multiplicand, this is the multiplier and this is, yes, it is known as the product. So, we have done horizontal multiplication, we use straight line multiplication, which can be done mentally or it can be done in a separate paper and only the answer written there. Then we did this arrange and multiplication. But remember children, you must know your tables. Tables from now on, whatever you do, whatever maths we do for the whole year, it's based on multiplication. So whenever you have free time, Please learn your multiplication, it's very important. As you say, 7 8 up, it should come into your head. 7 8 are 56. Is that clear? So take care, do your work. Later on, you will get a self assessment test. Is that clear? You can do it on a separate piece of paper or you can do it mentally there. And once you write the answer, once you get the answers, write it in the self assessment test and submit. Don't forget, take care. Bye.